guys, Greg here, Bone Tactical. I am inside of the shipping container home that I have built. You guys have probably been following along from the beginning where I bought an old really beat up shipping container, built a trailer underneath it and turning it now into an RV. Instead of doing insulation, I've used an actual ceramic ad mix into the paint for thermal control insulation basically, so I can have absolute maximum space and really don't have to worry about putting anything over the walls. I've painted the inside with that in a really high quality paint. And then we've got the electrical system installed. I've done cedar wood in absolutely everything that I found out on expeditions in the mountains of Central America. So this is cedar wood. We're gonna have some storage areas here. As you guys I'm sure are aware, a container, living in a container, uh, you have to be very tactical about how you do your space management. So there's gonna be a bed here, big wood bed here, uh, cedar floor, obviously. This is the same Spanish cedar that we've got here. We've got the, this is a sponsored product uh, that was sent in, RPNB Safe. It's welded to the container, so it's permanent install. I have, I've welded absolutely everything. And this is gonna be where my clothes is, this is a dresser, okay? Same Spanish cedar that we've made, a uh, little removable bar here for the clothing. So the clothing gets hung here and then, you know, all the other socks, underwear, everything like that can go in here. Again, the idea is having everything really stable so that it is kind of like an RV. So it can be, you know, disconnected and moved at any time. From there, I installed a window here that you can see, here's the window, okay, right? Just a pre-made PVC window. I bought this window just like it is here. What I did was cut a hole, calculate for the angle here, welded the angle to the trailer, and then I used a cedar wood insert and the, the kind of really tight fit, the window squeezed right in there and I drilled it, I put some screws in there just for just for extra security and then silicone the edges. There's another storage shelf up here that's the same cedar. And this will just be for, you know, random stuff that I want to put up there, maybe a printer or other things like that. Just because there's, you know, as we discussed storage space, we've got the air conditioning here. Okay. We've got the water setup, which isn't currently connected, but we do have the the valves turned off, but do have the water set up. It is actually all connected and plumbed. Just have the valve turned off. We've got the breaker box here for everything that's in here. And then finished, just recently finished rebuilding this wood desk that you guys probably saw this wood desk in tons of old videos, but I had a, a system to where there was a secret compartment in the top of the desk slid. And then there was a you know, arms and different things like that on the inside, cool stuff. So instead of that sliding system, I rebuilt it and did uh, drawers. So now, because the, it won't be able to slide, obviously being inside the container. Then there's a mini fridge down here. Uh, just installed this yesterday. I have to do some, a little bit more with the cable and another light over here. And that's kind of the gist of the container build so far. There's gonna be a mirror here in the kitchen sink bathroom type area. The actual bathroom is gonna be outside. Continuing with the wood theme here, we've got the wood entryway. I'm gonna do some more work actually securing this to these trunks with some heavy duty lag bolts or screws. And then, you know, th that can be removed when the trailer w needs to get moved. But I don't. what I don't wanna do is have all the weight on the tires right now. I've got the stove. The stove hookup is going to be right here. This will be the kitchen area. So like larger kitchen area. And then there's going to be a washing area for laundry and everything like that right here. We've got that set up. This little room over here is a backup generator room. So the backup generator will sit right here. It's concrete block walls so that the sound from the generator is not penetrating a bunch into the container here. If I'm trying to sleep and have the generator on. Then we've got it plumbed here for this. Uh, there's a basically a tube underground here. I've got an extension that'll 
come through here to from the generator plug in here and then inside this box here there's a knife switch so the knife switch when everything's hooked up generators on you just flip the night switch knife switch and it goes from power from my transformer and my grid system that i have here over to the to the generator and then that's a manual system we'll probably in the future end up doing a big diesel automatic generator at this point, it's like a 15,000 watt gas generator that I'm using. The bathroom will be right here. So they've got the bathroom pretty much set up. Again, this is all kind of provisional stuff, just getting really moved in here, being able to work. So the bathroom will be here and there will be a, uh, just a provisional roof, tin roof, and probably a curtain that I'm gonna do right here for the, for the actual, for the doorway, right? It'll be accessible through the other side. But this is kind of what we've got set up so far. This, these are actually some pieces. These are actually roots, a uh, really cool closeout thing. These are roots sections from a massive, massive Nargusta or Bullywood tree. And it was, the tree was like, I could put my arms like this around it. And it was fallen and the entire core of the tree, unfortunately, when I found it was just rotted out because it had been, it was a hun several hundred year old tree, but it had been fallen and rotten. So most, almost all the wood was ruined, but the very base of the tree was just massive. It was like 15 feet across because of these root sections, they came out like fins. And these are two of the smallest root sections. It was so deep into the mountain that we couldn't even get the other two big roof, uh, root sections out of there. Um, hopefully I'm going to get those root sections out of there. The other two root sections, because again, the tree has been dead for probably 50, 60 years and the, you know, it's, it's just rotting away and it's sad to see, but we do use all of this wood that you see here is always recycled wood. So we go out on adventures in the Overland Expedition vehicle and we look for, look for fallen trees. And, and as you can see here, this was some roots that were part of a fallen tree. Anyway. Stay tuned for more videos of the container or tiny home living quarters build. Thanks for watching. Bone out.